She has a problem with the country. She has a problem with the weather. She has a problem with the people. She has a problem with the system. Like, why did you come to the Netherlands in the first place? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Josephine. I'm a YouTuber based in Delft, Netherlands. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for all your love and support. It means so, so, so much to me. Guys, thank you, okay? Okay guys, so in today's video, I'll be doing something a little bit different, something that I've not done on my channel before, okay? So today, we're going to be looking at one video like that, okay? One very controversial video that we have on the internet. I think the title of this video is the Netherlands is the worst country in Europe. Here is why. I'm gonna put a link in the, of this video in the description box because I want you guys to check it out for yourselves and have your own opinion about it as well, okay? I remember when I saw the title of the video, I was like, huh? The Netherlands is the worst country in Europe, huh? I was like, what be this? <laughs> Has this person ever even been to the Netherlands? Like, girl, hey. Enough of this talking, okay? Let's watch the video together. Hello, fellow travelers. Okay. Today, I'm going to tell you about a country that I didn't like. Officially, it is named the Netherlands. Okay. But my experience was specifically in the Holland region, in the city of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. The country of Holland is full of attractive people. Many people would like to move there to find love because the Dutch are very good looking people. <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. The Netherlands is full of attractive people. Yes, there are attractive people in the Netherlands, but to say that many people would move to the Netherlands to find love because the Dutch people are very good looking people. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> That's really strange, okay? Let's keep on watching. People claim that there are jobs there and that it's a very special country. Mm. I found out about this country online. So she says she found out about this country online. So what I don't know is if she had never heard about the Netherlands and she just knew about the Netherlands for the first time online or if she had probably known something about the Netherlands previously, but online she saw that people said it was a very special country and that there are many jobs here and everything and yeah so let's just have that in mind okay when i arrived in this country with my son the very first day was snowy i stayed at skippel airport Ooh, okay. for the first night because we landed late and security personnel mistreated us and were racist towards us hold on hold on before you Sis, you don't just drop that bomb there and just move on as if you didn't say anything. Racism is a very huge accusation before you say someone was racist towards you. Like it at least that sentence deserves two more expla two more sentences to explain. Most people spoke Dutch, which is a very hard language to learn. Some people also spoke English as a secondary language. But it was broken English, therefore it was very hard to communicate with them. Dutch is the official language in the Netherlands. Like, did she not know about this? I don't know. Like, most people spoke Dutch, as if that's not what they're supposed to be speaking. It's just like going to the UK or going to England and saying most people spoke English. Like, duh, that's the official language, that's what they're supposed to be speaking, right? Sis, I don't know what, what the issue is. I struggled as the airport was the first encounter I ever had with the Dutch. The next day, I went to my hotel, which by the way was very expensive. I did not find any cheap hotels to stay at within the city of Amsterdam. I spent too much money after- Hold on. She said she went to the hotel and it was a very expensive hotel. So it kind of made me wonder, is it that she didn't know about the cost of the hotel before moving to the Netherlands? Like most times when you're booking a, a trip or when you're traveling, you already arrange your accommodation before you even get there. So in a way you already know what the cost would be. But apart from that, let's look at like, she couldn't find a cheap hotel within the city of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is one of the most expensive cities in the world. It's among the top 50 
most expensive cities in the world so like there are so many cities in um, in the netherlands and there are so many affo much more affordable cities in the netherlands so i wanted to leave and i ended up completely broke it was freezing there there was too much snow and many bicycles everywhere because the dutch culture involves riding a bike everywhere since the country is little the netherlands being a car free country there are not many cars around hold on hold on hold on first of all this lady said that in the netherlands we ride bicycles everywhere and please just in case you've never been to the netherlands let me put it out there that it's a big lie okay in the netherlands we have bicycle tracks there are bicycle tracks everywhere so literally there is a track where bicycles can move so it's not as if we're like sharing the same road with buses with cars that you, just the same like the way you see in other countries where like there are no bicycle tracks where you see cyclists have to share the same road with like cars and maybe trains or whatever in the netherlands is very different actually this is i in fact i take offense by this because the bicycle tracks is one of my favorite things about the netherlands so, and i've made a whole lot of videos which i can link where i talked about this like being able to cycle everywhere and not having to drive or take the bus it just makes life much much easier and yeah so she also said that the netherlands is a car free country I, I have never heard of a car free country in this life so i'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt that probably because english is not her first language so she might not have meant it that way but please as i said earlier the dutch are very attractive people physically but they are very cold and they will not socialize with you they will never talk to you out of the blue instead they just show you a fake smile <laughs> okay guys this is so funny like i'm here wondering like why should i talk to you if i don't know you do you get what i mean like why should i talk to you out of the blues even me i'm not dutch but why should i start having a conversation with you out of the blues like for me to start up a conversation is either i feel comfortable with you i feel comfortable around you or the situation kind of permits it so let's say we're sitting together in a park and we don't know each other i can definitely strike up a conversation to get to know you but if i see you on the road like moving and minding your business like why should i start up a conversation out of the blues so if i don't do that that makes me cold the fact that they constantly said hello hello annoyed me so much and i didn't like it at all that's how they communicate so you move out of their way because they're uh -uh. hey hey <laughs> see where wala <laughs> So somebody says hello to you. You're complaining that the person is not social. The person doesn't, you know, start up a conversation. And then the person is always saying hello to you and it offended you. I mean, most times when you want to start up a conversation, you always start with hello, right? Like, hi, or hello, how are you doing? So if I say hello, <laughs> you stop me right and be like, it's annoying, don't tell me hello. And then you want me to continue the conversation see i don't let's just go let's go let's go because they are commuting through the city using bicycles there are also railways for cable cars on the streets with the buses and cars and bikes all of them using the same roads i found it quite unorganized and hold on hold on sis before we move on they have like rails they have cars they have bicycles and they all use the same road and she was and that was unorganized for her i'm just wondering like what where did you expect the cars to go should they fly do are they not all road transportations so should they not all be on the same road i'm just wondering but let's continue it is a very small city, beautiful and old-fashioned, but it is full of canals and rivers, which I didn't like. I suffered so much. I became depressed since I spent so much money. I never even found a job to sustain myself, and I've been ripped off by two Dutch employment agencies. 
Because they demand you meet so many requirements to work, and it's a very closed country, you can't work or have access to basic services as a foreigner. Well, that... Guys, I don't even want to go into this because this is so not true. This is... Well, I'm not saying that her own experience is not true because I, I don't think I have the right to say that. So I can't say that she's lying, that she, she couldn't get a job. But if she's saying that as a foreigner, you don't have access to basic services. I'm a foreigner, okay? I'm a black Nigerian woman, okay? And I have access. So we're going to just, we're going to talk about this later on anyway, but I don't think, this is not true, okay? I don't know why she wasn't able to have access to basic services, but I'm telling you that as a foreigner who is living in the Netherlands, I do have access to basic services. So let's keep going. If you are an American, I guess the same principles applies to any non-European foreigner. You have zero possibilities of working in the Netherlands. Huh? <laughs> what did she just say? Hey. <laughs> Guys, I am, look at me. I'm not even American, let alone Europe. I'm a pure Nigerian African girl, okay? And I have a job, okay? My husband has a job. And we have friends who are Nigerians, who are Ghanaians, Africans. We do have jobs. So I don't understand. See, let's just keep going okay i lived in amsterdam and after doing so for a time there is nothing left for us let's also not forget that the dutch are stingy and greedy in most cases they will not give you a handout if you're in need some people point out the greatness of the welfare that citizens of the european union can benefit from but that was not so great because I've met many people from Europe who still had nothing while there. <laughs> First of all, he said the Dutchies are greedy and, st <laughs> and stingy just because they didn't give you a hand. D hmm. See, do I need to say anything? At this point, you can see that there is definitely something wrong with the lady who is talking. Like, she's either pissed off. I don't know how to say it, but... At this point, let's not even... She has a problem with the country. She has a problem with the weather. She has a problem with the people. She has a problem with the system. Like, why did you come to the Netherlands in the first place? That's my question. Like, if you should have done your research, if you have a problem with everything, like... Oh, wow. Let's continue. They read on the internet that it is supposed to be the best country and that there are plenty of opportunities. But it's not true. Forget about going there if you don't have any money. Because if you're unlucky and end up homeless, you can't even exist there. The police will arrest you and fine you if they see you sleeping on the streets. I met a girl from Germany and she had a tough life in the Netherlands. She had trouble saving up money working at bars and hotels. Even with two jobs, she was not able to save enough money to survive. Sorry, she says she knows someone from Germany. Just in case you, you don't know so much about European countries, actually Germany is like a neighboring country to the Netherlands. Germany is like just around the corner. So I'm wondering why a German citizen would prefer to struggle and struggle and struggle in the Netherlands and not want to go back to Germany. I'm just wondering because like I'm just it doesn't make sense to me it is very hard because the system is made to benefit older people huh? older people's wages are way higher than young people's it's a see I'm not trying to be petty okay but this lady doesn't look young to me so if the Dutch culture or the Dutch economy only benefits older people was she not supposed to benefit too I'm just wondering but let's go Indeed. The most important thing you need to know before moving to the Netherlands is to bring a lot of money with you because you are going to spend a lot on hotels and going out. This is especially true in Amsterdam, which is a very small city. In every city when you're traveling, you spend money and if you're going to be staying in a hotel, be rest assured that you spend much more money than if you were living in that country. So 
it's not about the Netherlands and it's not even about Amsterdam. It doesn't matter. Even if she got like a cheaper hotel or a cheaper city, as long as you're living in a hotel, common sense will just tell you that you're going to spend money and you're, you're living in a hotel and you're going out and you don't have job. <laughs> Your money will finish, okay? But let's just continue. You could literally walk across the city in one and a half hours. Also, consider in winter, it is very cold, very windy, very snowy, and in Amsterdam, there are not many places to sit. There aren't big shop. Hold on. In Amsterdam, there are no many places to sit. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> now this is super funny. Like, what do you mean by there are no many places to sit? Like, you don't have chairs on the street sometimes or in lonely streets you could you don't see chairs to see it is a bit confusing to me because this is not true but let's there aren't big shopping centers to go shopping the only places to go are mcdonald's and burger king which are places most people gather and drink in re saying that there is only kfc and burger king in amsterdam is ridiculous guys is in fact is ridiculous in reality, this country isn't that great. There are too many drugs. On the weekends, teenagers get high, get drunk, and there's also a lot of legal and illegal prostitution. To be honest, I didn't find it was the best country in the world, as the internet claims. think happened here or what I'm assuming happened here is that this lady didn't know so much about the Netherlands so she went online and she heard a lot of good things about the Netherlands which she stated she heard that there were jobs in the Netherlands and that is a very great country with opportunities for foreigners so because she heard all these things she stood up took her son and decided to go no research whatsoever regarding the what is the cost of living in the netherlands what is the standard of living in the netherlands what are the opportunities that are available for me with my skill set in the netherlands so these are the things she never addressed she never told us what she does for a living like what is her skill set how she didn't say anything about how she what type of visa that she came to the Netherlands with like for you to even work or do a full-time job in the Netherlands if you're not from the EU you need residence permit or a permit here yeah, to work so these are things that you need to know before you move to a country that's all I can see here like lack of preparation you just heard that a country is beautiful and there are job opportunities and you just packed your bag oh yeah let's go <laughs> let's go one other challenge i have with this video is that this lady took no responsibility for the struggles that she faced in the netherlands and she blamed it all on the netherlands and said the netherlands was the worst country in europe and i would say that so many things that she said in this video is not true not been my experience at all so i've had jobs she said foreigners do not have jobs i i have a job my husband has a job my child has is entitled to child care benefits i mean like in fact i don't need to say so much just check out my channel if you if this is your first time here yeah that's my opinion that's my reaction to this video and that's my advice to people who are considering to come to the netherlands please i'm begging you do your research okay and just to help you guys i'm going to put a whole lot of bunch of links in the description box in this video for you to check out i'll put links where did we talk about the um the visa and the type of residence permit that you have in the netherlands and how to apply for each one i'll also put a link in the description box about the child care benefits in the netherlands i will put a link about yeah maybe a standard of living or cost of living in the netherlands i'm also considering like including money kind of talks on my channel like talking about the cost of living in the netherlands how much i spend in a month in the netherlands like how i save money you know how i'm able to you know cut down my expenses what are the tips and tricks that i have 
on my sleeves that help me to save money every month so yeah these are kind of some ideas that i have right now that i can maybe inculcate in my channel as well if you think if you would like to see something like that or if you think it would be nice to have this just let me know in the comment section that you will be interested in having this extra information guys that's it that's it for this video did you enjoy it did you have fun don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video guys and please please consider subscribing i'm a new youtuber and i'm trying to build my channel guys so all your love and support will mean so so much to me okay thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye